So ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a unique event in history. For the very first and realistically last time, I'm allowed to speak on behalf of my wife and I. <laughs> One, two. Oh, you're oh, you're amazing. Amazing. I'm watching the cricket because it did just a bit of calmness. I'm truly new within the first month of being new Zoe that this would be forever. You and I have been joined at the hip from literally the first walk to the library together at uni, and it's been an honour to watch you grow into the woman you are today. In the presence of God and before this congregation, I therefore proclaim that they are now husband and wife. You make it. <laughs> is the kindest, most generous person I know. Even as a little brother, he's always protected me. Other than Jake, there isn't anybody in this world that's given to Zoe. And other than Zoe, there isn't anybody in the world willing to put up with Jake. I've just caught you upstairs and you are what you're looking at the cricket. I'm watching the cricket because it did just a bit of calmness. <laughs> just a lovely day, isn't it? I, it makes you feel a little bit on the old side, <laughs> but other than that, absolutely fabulous. I I'm so excited. I'm excited for him to see it. I'm excited. To see I'm just excited. I mean I have an what an hour left of being Zoe Everson. Yeah. Still time to turn back if you want to. No, <laughs> we're here now. I'm excited, we're doing it. <laughs> Stop it. Don't. No. no. <laughs> Wait, should, I re should we reload? <laughs> Key in three, two, one, turn. Well, good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to St. Lawrence Church in Letchley for this very special occasion, the marriage of Zoe and Jake. A um, little bit stressful. A <laughs> little bit stressful. Um, they literally stood at the altar. Just don't get well, my name wrong. Yeah. Zoe, Jake, Rebecca, Amon, Everson. James, is that the name? No, I'm Jake. No, that's right.
in the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Jake and Zoe. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body, and mind. Jake, will you take Zoe to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Zoe, will you take Jake to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Jake and Zoe have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are now husband and wife. I have quite a few times. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> you guys are alive. I might as well get her like a tie. Oh dear. I have that one. So, guys, you're married? It's wild, man. I love it. So ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a unique event in history for the very first and realistically last time I'm allowed to speak on behalf of my wife and I. <laughs> it is a privilege and an honour to do so, and if it goes wrong, it would be nice for us to get the first disappointment of the marriage out of the way. <laughs> so Zoe, I mean can we just, like look at her, come on, come on. I'm not going to look at you, Zoe, when I talk because I'll probably cry because you're going to cry. But Zoe, you're effortless, effortlessly beautiful, kind. You're always putting others before yourself. You're funny, you're super talented, and importantly, quite clearly, a great judge of character. <laughs> no, but joking aside, I truly knew within the first month of meeting you, Zoe, that this would be forever. You and I have been joined at the hip from literally the first walk to the library together at uni and it's been an honour to watch you grow into the woman you are today 
and I feel so blessed to be able to call you my better half. And finally, thank you Zoe for opening that Snapchat which I said bored somebody chat, which I'd only send to you. Follow me for more tips on how to flirt and date. For those of you that don't know me, congratulations. I'm Jake's older brother, Josh. I'm certainly less important than the little brother over there in our family. I'll give you an example. When introducing us to a group when we were younger, my mum would say, this is Jake, he's in a band, he loves music and skateboards, and then she'd turn her hand to me and say, this is Josh, our eldest. <laughs> Jake is the kindest, most generous person I know. Even as a little brother, he's always protected me. My brother is the sort of bloke that if this morning on the way to the church a bird had shat on my shoulder, he had taken off his jacket and he had said, take mine, I don't want you to have to worry about how you look. Now Zoe, I remember one of the first times we spent time together, just us in River Island, and I said, you're far too nice for Jake, he's in a band. Go with somebody that actually will be there for you all the time. Other than Jake, there isn't anybody in this world as given as Zoe, and other than Zoe, there isn't anybody in the world willing to put up with Jake. So before I finish this up, I would like to warn Zoe about what happened to the last person that spent a lot of time in Jake's bed. This is Sooty. Sooty... Sooty slept with Jake for most of his life before you came along. I'm pretty sure we saw Jake sucking on Sooty's ear as old as 18, to be honest with you. Put each other first as you always have, and remember that no matter what happens in your relationship, an unhealthy dependency on bedroom toys will humiliate you when you least expect it. Um, being a band with someone gives you a perspective on them that few of us get to experience. Not to mention an encyclopedic knowledge of motorway service stations. Jake and Zoe have shown themselves time and time again to be two of the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet and we are lucky that we get to share such a big part of our lives with them. Jake is without a doubt the funniest guy we know. The list of funny noises, memes, quotes and in-jokes that we share on a regular basis would take us into next week. We were going to play a video example of Jake's sense of humour here for demonstration purposes just to break things up a little bit but figured a 10 hour YouTube video of Super Mario noises might not be wedding appropriate. <laughs> To Jake and Zoe, everybody. Afternoon, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone here today for giving them your love, friendship and support. As many of you know, public speaking, not really my thing. Um, some of you will also know that being the father of two gorgeous girls and a husband to a romantic wife, we have watched every romantic comedy ever made, <laughs> probably twice, in homage to one of our favourites, as it's getting close to Christmas. Let's begin.